Today we will be discussing predicting precipitation products. In the real world, when we are treating our drinking water for hazardous compounds, we generally aim to precipitate those hazardous compounds out so that we're able to actually filter out what needs to be filtered out so that everything is safe to drink. And that means we need to be able to pick different uh, reactants so that we are able to precipitate out the undesirable uh, compound. We have our first example here which states select the appropriate reactant that would allow for a precipitate to form when reacting with lead to nitrate. As a reminder precipitate means that I am going to be forming an insoluble compound so I need to figure out between these three, if I added those three and tried to react them with uh, the lead to nitrate, which of them would be the best choice and would allow me to precipitate out something. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, recognize that this is a double replacement reaction and switch the partners for each option. So my first option was lead to nitrate and sodium nitrate. When I switch nitrate for nitrate, I'm left with lead to nitrate and sodium nitrate. I haven't done anything very efficient here, right? I'm left with the exact same compounds that I put in. And since I know that these two were initially soluble because they were mentioned, this is not helpful. So that's not going to uh, probably be the thing that I want to choose. Next, I had silver cyanide and lead to nitrate. So I will switch those partners lead to nitrate will form lead to cyanide and then silver will form uh, silver nitrate. So at least here I've switched my anions and I have a chance at getting something useful. And the last one is between zinc sulfate and lead to nitrate. So I will produce lead to sulfate and zinc nitrate. Now that I have all of my options, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see with each of the compound solubility if I could produce a uh, precipitate or a solid product. So I'm going to check the solubility for lead to nitrate. Remember on the solubility chart we're going to be referencing based off of the anion. So I will check nitrate and I see that nitrate is always soluble. So for both the lead to nitrate and the sodium nitrate, since both of them have the same anion, and nitrates are always soluble, I know that both of these compounds are also still soluble. So not what I wanted. Next, I have lead to cyanide, so I can check the solubility of cyanide. When I look at cyanide, I see that cyanides are always soluble, so that lead to cyanide is going to be soluble, but maybe, maybe this sodium, uh, sorry, this silver nitrate will be insoluble. So then I'll look at nitrate, and then I'll see nitrates still always soluble. So that means that both compounds are soluble again, so not the thing that I wanted. Last chance, hopefully one of these two are insoluble. I'll check sulfate and see if lead is soluble, if it's bonded with sulfate. When I look at sulfate, I see it's in the generally soluble category, unless it's bonded with strontium, barium, lead, two or mercury. I was bonded with lead two here, so that means that this is going to be insoluble. Now I just need to check for the zinc nitrate. Nitrates, again, are going to be always soluble, so zinc nitrate will be soluble, but I have finally produced a product that is not soluble. I've finally made a precipitate, so this lead two sulfate is going to be my solid, and it's going to be my precipitate. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select that initial reactant that allowed me to produce a precipitate, which was that zinc sulfate, and I'm going to write the reaction out. I'm going to write the chemical equation. So when I do that, I am going to make sure I have state signifiers for everybody and make sure that everybody's balanced. So I have the uh, lead to nitrate, which I forgot to write my two after nitrate. Oops goes there. 
and I am reacting with zinc sulfate, producing lead to sulfate, which is my precipitate, and aqueous zinc nitrate.